Woohoo! Welcome back to Felicia's Ark, everybody. I am Felicia Day, and I've been waiting for this episode because today we are going to select one of my favorite species. Horses. Now, I know you're gonna roll your eyes and be like, oh, of course she likes horses, she's a girl, there's some deep Freudian thing with girls and horses, but it's deeper than that. Oh, so deeper. I have had an intense love for this animal ever since I acquired my first mount in World of Warcraft, oh, so many years ago. And if you know what it was like getting from A to B in Vanilla WoW when you did not get that thing until level 40, 100 gold, it was very hard. You know why I love them. But first, let's see who is the winner from last week and see which of the birds you chose to have a special place of honor on my arc. And the winner is Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I'm totally behind this choice, guys. Money, 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 money. Now, oh, with that kind of cash on our side, we're gonna have make an arc the size of the Star Destroyer. Well played, internet. Well played. Come on aboard, Scrooge, don't touch me. Now let's gallop onto horses. Our first horse of the day is the horse Agro from Shadow of the Colossus. Look at the size of this horse. Now. It's not all about size, but I think of all the horse mounts out there, this one has to be the biggest. I guess it makes sense because of what you have to go up against in the game. You need a creature that big, fearless, it's loyal, willing to carry you into battle against creatures that defy reasoning. This game is so obscure. What is the con? It's the size. Yeah, I lied earlier. It is all about the size. Carefully consider how much it would take to feed this guy and how big his stall would have to be physically on the ship. Plus, you know, guys, he's really codependent. He's clingy. He's like, oh, oh, hey, Agro. Nice to see you again everywhere on the Ark. I don't want to have to constantly be checking on this guy. Agro, 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 you're invading my personal space. Agro. <laughs> Plus, it's a stupid name. It should be named Argo, which was a much better movie. Second on our list is Despair, the mount from Darksiders 2. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but I thought Despair was super way cooler than Ruin from Darksiders 1. He's got the ghostly, ethereal thing going on. You'll just be like, oh, whoa, you're, in, you're under there. It's just awesome. You can summon him at will, so he won't take up any space. And bonus, he's dead, so he don't need to eat. Cheap and portable. Those are my favorite things. That's actually not true. I like expensive and unportable. If you want me to be honest about me, Whatever. I think we might have a winner, except, this is a big except, he's dead, so he can't repopulate. It would be awkward, copy and paste, maybe, I don't know. And he's also death's horse, so that could be awkward to explain why we have him and death doesn't. We wouldn't want him, you know, him knocking at the door and saying, where's my horse? You don't want that guy, he's a kind of a douchebag. Well, since we're already talking about dead horses on the subject, our next horse is Rivendare's Death Charger in World of Warcraft. No, I don't have a thing for dead animals. Gross, you guys. It's gross, that would be necro, necrohorsia. Let's be practical though. This guy is incredibly easy to maintain. He looks awesome. You know how many times I ran Stratholme for this guy to drop? He is so selective. He never dropped for me. I hate him so much, but I love him too. He is so awesome. And you can summon him at will, so that's cool. Right? If we're space saving the cons, I'm pretty sure he'd need to consume the soul of another animal to feed, so I don't think many animals would last a trip. It's just, damn it, dead horses. You're really putting me on the spot. Next is probably one of the most amazing mounts in history, Pegasus from God of War. It is a horse, it's highly intelligent, and it can fly. I'm, I can think of a few uses for a flying horse. Oh, the flood is gone and this is a new land. Oh, what's over that mountain? Well, let me just hop on my badass Pegasus and find out. Hey, I'm a bad actor. Plus, with sweet aerial maneuvers and combat training, this is literally, literally the perfect mount, you guys. Except for that one, you know, <laughs> pesky, wings on fire thing. I don't know too much about the rules of fire safety, but I am pretty sure that one of them is don't have something on fire hanging out on a large wooden boat. Even if the Ark wasn't wood, there's gonna be combustible material everywhere, and if you tried to seal them away below deck, fumes from all the animal manure could light up, and kaboom, you're killed by manure and mythological horse. That is an undignified way to die. Oh, my one and only Shadow Mirror. 172 hours of Skyrim, you and me, buddy. As if being an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood wasn't cool enough, they give you this handsome, handsome guy, tall, dark stranger. I would trade in my car for this horse any day. Why? Not just because he's awesome looking or because he watches my back when I'm killing Forsworn. No, because he can scale walls like Spider-Man. Check it out. How badass is my horse, right? How's he doing that? Don't think about it or they'll debug it. The only con I can think of when it comes to Shadowmere is that you have to do a couple of questionable things before you get him, like, you know, <laughs> murder innocent people. The wedding thing, 
it made me feel bad. But uh, the world is kind of ending, so they're dead anyway. No one's judging me, right? Come on, buddy. Lastly, oh, thank God, it's a horse with some color and whimsy. It is Horstacio from Viva Piñata. I mean, it's a piñata, but he's a piñata with attitude. Stop saying piñata like that. Piñata, hey. Stop saying it. No, seriously, stop it. Let's make a case for this guy. The next round of life on this planet needs to have some cute things in it, all right? And besides, if we get hungry, we could just break him open and eat the candy. Do not tell him. He brings Calypso music with him, and he won't give me nightmares like the other choices. What is not to like? The major fault with this little guy is that he's made of paper. We could try and keep him dry, but that would just be hard. I mean, it's an ark. There's a lot of water. It'll be rough. And if we only have one horse on board, we may have put all of our eggs into one fragile, soggy basket. Flip side, clip some music. Hard decision. All right, those are your horses, ladies and gents. Children and men, bots and no bots. You know the score. Vote for the animal you think should have a place on the ark in the comments, and those who do will be eligible to win a... Check back next week to see which animal won, and if I missed any you think I missed, leave them in the comments.